everybody, welcome back to E Cubed. Now, let's see. Two days ago, we studied about roles. Then yesterday in our dialogue, we had the word roles again, and we also studied the expression in denial. So, in denial, that was yesterday's expression. Is that a good expression? Yeah, it means not acknowledging the truth. There's some really not nice truth out there, but you're ignoring it, like losing your hair and thinking, acting like you have a lot of hair. If you don't know the expression in denial, please watch yesterday's expression. Now, do you know the famous river in Egypt? What's that river's name? Yeah, so we got, uh, this is Africa. Africa, it's a terrible map of Africa, I apologize, this Africa, something like this. Uh, and boy, oh boy, uh, I, oh, it's getting worse. Anyway, this, this is Egypt, right? And there's a, there's a river here, it goes past Cairo, and this is where all the pyramids and everything is. Uh, yes, that's right, the river is called the Nile. The Nile. Yesterday, denial. Today, Denial. 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 You know, it's interesting. Sometimes Americans, when we say the TH sound, it actually sounds like D. So, the Nile can sound like denial. Denial. So, I go swimming in the Nile, but my baldness and me, I am in denial. Very different meaning, but we can say in denial, in denial, and they sound very similar, right? Okay, so where is the Nile? The Nile is in Egypt, right? Is the Nile in America? No, it's not. The Nile is only in Egypt. But what about if we say in denial? Now, we have an expression, boom! This is the expression. Denial ain't just a river in Egypt. Now we know the Nile is just a river in Egypt, but denial ain't just a river in Egypt. This is a very funny expression. It's a pun. Denial ain't just a river in Egypt means that person is in denial. That person is in denial. We have a guy in denial here in Los Angeles. When we say denial, we think of Egypt. But by looking at this guy, we can say denial. He is in denial and he's in Los Angeles. And maybe in Chicago, there is somebody in denial. And maybe in New York City, there's somebody in denial. And maybe in Frankfurt, Germany, there's somebody in denial. And Belo Horizonte, Brazil, there's somebody in denial. And in Tokyo, Japan, there's somebody in denial. So if there are people in denial in all these cities, then denial ain't just a river in Egypt. It's funny! Now, there are many situations when we can talk about somebody being in denial again. And I have a great dialogue for you today. I hope that you enjoy this dialogue. Let's go see Michael's baby! Oh, no thanks. Saw it on Facebook. Oh, come on! Nope, that's one ugly baby. Oh, Mike said he's so cute! Well, denial ain't just a river in Egypt. Oh, that's such a terrible dialogue, but it's true! You know, some, I'm sorry, you know, babies are beautiful, babies, yes, but let's be honest, some babies, you know, they're not beautiful. It's true, some babies are ugly, it happens. When I was a baby, I was one ugly baby. But that's good. If you have an ugly baby, you turn out to be a very handsome man. Yes, but ugly babies, what do you do? Your, your friend has a new baby. This is my new baby. Oh my God, is that a baby or a puppy? Haha. <laughs> I mean, you have to be nice. Everybody says, oh, your baby's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. 
but sometimes they're not cute. So what do you do? Do you lie? Oh my goodness! Wow! Ho 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 ho! Well, when your baby gets older, it's going to be very handsome. Right now, woo! That is one ugly baby. You, you, you don't want to say anything. So if you have a choice of seeing your friend's new baby and it's really ugly, do you want to see it now or, or later? Yeah, I don't know. I, it's a tough decision. Well, anyway, the parent has a problem too. As a human, yes, you have your baby, you know, your, your son, your daughter, but you should know if your son or daughter is ugly or not, right? Yeah? My mom, when my mom had me, she was embarrassed. I was so ugly. So she never showed anybody. I mean, my mom put a little cover, a little sheet over my head, like Michael Jackson did with his children. Other parents thought that I was Muslim. I thought, you know, a little baby girl. I'm, no, I'm just joking. But seriously, I was an ugly baby, and my mom, she knew it. And she tells me, you are an ugly baby. My mom was honest to me. But most parents are in denial. Oh, no, no, no. When you were young, you were so cute. <laughs> no, no. Some babies are ugly. Not many. Not many babies are ugly. But some babies are ugly. Yeah. It happens. It's true. Another case of where somebody, now, have you seen, it's, it's usually a woman, not always a woman, sometimes guys too. But I'll give you the example of a woman. She goes to the store, and when she gets to the store, they have an amazing sale. 10% off, 30% off, 50% off, 70% off. So she buys everything. She's buying and she's buying and she comes home and she tells her husband, oh my God, today I saved so much money. She really believes she not only saved money, that actually she earned money. But the truth is, she spent a lot of money. So when we see that person, that man or that woman, we can say, Oh dear, denial ain't just a river in Egypt. Denial is right here. This woman is also in denial. I have another example. Uh, actually, I, I made a video. Check it out. Uh, yeah, could I get a double cheeseburger with uh, an extra large fries and oh that ice cream looks good can I get a triple scoop of ice cream with a piece of fudge and an apple pie on the side and uh, let me get a medium diet coke uh, make that a small diet coke I'm watching my weight thank you yeah, that Diet Coke is not going to help you. Not with a lunch like that. Just get a regular Coke. Enjoy it. Diet Coke, it's not going to help you. Yeah. You know, uh, I have a friend, and, uh, and he's a little bit older. You know, he's in his 30s, uh, and he's totally single. Actually, I, a lot of my... I know a lot of people. A lot, I know a lot of guys who are in their 30s, and they're very single. Very, very single. And they're not gay, they're, you know, they're not, they're, they're looking for a woman, they would be happy to have a woman, but they don't. Not even close. And, you know, I asked him, hey, hey, dude, uh, why don't you have a girlfriend? Are, are you going to get married? Uh, what's up with that? And the guy, the guy that I'm thinking about, he says, well, you know, Shane, my confidence scares a lot of women. They see me as an alpha male, and they think that I'm too much of a man. So they're scared of me. That's the problem. Actually, I'm like a puppy dog. I'm a nice guy. I'm very warm. I'm very gentle. I'm very loving. But women, their impression is, I'm just too much man. And he believes that. And every time I see him, I think to myself, you know, 
Denial ain't just a river in Egypt. Oh, and you might be talking about me too, right? Well, what about you, Shane? You're over 40 and you're single. Well, I wasn't. And God, rah, rah. but I'm not afraid of uh, getting married again. I just need uh, the right woman. I just need a woman who can see through my manly man image and understand that I'm a very sensitive guy who uh, likes to spend quiet evenings at home and uh, watch American football, drink beer. Um, anyway, yeah, so maybe I do have a little bit of a manly man image problem. Well, you know, they, you know what they say, denial ain't just a river in Egypt. Well, what about the women, too? You know, you, you, got, you, got, you ask a woman, so uh, you're, you're getting up there in age, uh, why are you still single? And the woman will say, oh, well, you know, my beauty is so much that the men, they're, they're intimidated by me, they're scared of me, they think because I'm so pretty, they think I'll say no, and uh, that's why I'm single, yeah! Yeah. That woman and that guy, my friend, they should get together. Now they'd kill each other. That might not be such a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. Denial ain't just a river in Egypt. Mark Twain. Do you know Mark Twain? Mark Twain, very famous American author. Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn. Mark Twain used that expression, and he made it very famous. I'm sure he's not the one who made the expression, but he did use it. If you see somebody who is in denial, it's so sick. Oh my God, this guy is in denial. You can use the expression, yep, yeah, denial ain't just a river in Egypt. Denial is right here in this town, too. That's today's expression. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Let's go see Michael's baby. Oh, no thanks. Saw it on Facebook. Oh, come on. Nope, that's one ugly baby. Oh, Mike said he's so cute. Well, denial ain't just a river in Egypt. Let's go see Michael's baby. Oh, no thanks. Saw it on Facebook. Oh, come on. Nope, that's one ugly baby. Oh, Mike said he's so cute. Well, denial ain't just a river in Egypt. Let's go see Michael's baby. Oh, no thanks. Saw it on Facebook. Oh, come on. Nope. That's one ugly baby. Oh, Mike said he's so cute. Well, denial ain't just a river in Egypt.